Imagine the pain that mother is experiencing knowing that her son's killer is having part of that conviction erased. This case holding the intention of the entire city and beyond one that we covered extensively here at PIX11, known to all of us simply as Junior, a teenage boy murdered in a horrific case of mistaken identity in 2018. 15 year old Lissandra Guzman Feliz dragged from a bodega in the Bronx by gang members and murdered on the sidewalk. They thought he was the member of a rival gang. He was not. He wanted to be a police officer. More than a dozen people have been sentenced for the murder, among them Jonah Kai Martinez Estrella. He was caught on camera inflicting the fatal stab wound. In 2019, during his initial conviction, a judge agreed the murder involved an element of torture. Yesterday, an appeals court of the state Supreme Court disagreeing. Now, three and a half years after Martinez Estrella was sentenced to life without parole for first degree murder, that conviction has been vacated. The appellate judge is saying yesterday the stabbing was a single act rather than a course of conduct. Thus, we find that the defendant and his accomplices did not engage in a course of conduct involving the intentional infliction of extreme physical pain. What does it mean? The legal definition of murder in the first degree requires in part that the defendant acted in an especially cruel and wanton manner, pursuant to a course of conduct intended to inflict and inflicting torture upon the victim prior to the victim's death. Judges say that simply did not happen in Junior's case. Junior's mother, Lysandra Feliz, describing her reaction after hearing the news. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. This is a nightmare. He killed my son. They are gang members. They are criminals. A lawyer for Martinez Estrella saying, quote, the appellate division did what the law required. There was simply no evidence that could have possibly satisfied the elements of first degree murder on the theory of torture. A spokesperson for the Bronx District Attorney's Office telling us that the defendant still stands convicted of second degree intentional murder for which he was sentenced to 25 years to life as well as conspiracy and gang assault going on to say that they're carefully reviewing the appellate division's decision and considering all of their options.